Hey everybody, sorry for the background screaming. That's just my usual family. Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You wanna make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> It is Sunday morning. I am a little later than I normally am on Sundays. So hopefully you guys are drinking a nice cup of coffee. I'm gonna do a super fun project today and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out because I don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to try. So we're gonna try. So you guys know that we have the chalk box kit we did this I did this as a video while I was working when we get was called the spirit of Halloween um, I'm gonna use the same transfer isn't this cute and we're gonna do something a little different with this that I thought would be pretty cool and ooh, it's actually gonna be part of my Halloween decor um, on the mantle and floating shelves that I have so what I have so I don't mess that one up is just a regular um, 11 by 14 frame. Let me go ahead and share. This is a regular 11 by 14 frame um, that I took the mat out of. And I'm going to show you after we do our project what I'm doing with this. And it is amazing, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out the back because I don't want to get any chalk on the glass. So I'm going to take this off. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna do a project. All right, so I have my frame. Let me give us some light here. Good morning, good morning. Let me get some light there, okay. So we have this frame. I did use my um, Chalkology Paste Wax around on this frame because I thought, well, if I love it, I can always redo it for the different holidays. But I had an idea using our Spirit of Halloween. Um, if you did get this chalk box kit, then you have this. And this project may mean that I have to go and wash this in between. We will see. And I have my bright white Chalkology chalk paste. And what you wanna do is stir up your chalk paste. You want the consistency of like a sour cream or yogurt. If it's a little thicker, you want to use um, a little bit of distilled water in there. 
just give that a squirt. There we go. And then just a little manhandling on here to get it the right consistency. All right. So what I want to do is I want to take this and kind of make it look like subway art and put it on my frame. Okay. I've used this transfer several times, so I don't need to fuzz it because it's still sticky and I don't want to take any of that sticky off. Um, let's see what we want to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the words off of this and I'm going to put it on my frame. So I'm going to start off with the spooky and if some of the letters actually poke off of the frame, I'm okay because I want this to look um, kind of like subway art. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. And then if there's any part that you don't want on there, all you have to do is grab your precision tape, which is the POW, and you can take that to cover up a part if you're worried you're going to chalk it. Like I just want part of this spooky on here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my bright white. And I'm gonna take one of my mini squeegees and put on the spooky here. And you could use um, the um, Let's Get Wicked Minis and decorate a frame, but this is the kind of frame I wanted because I have a special project that I've been working on that I'm gonna put inside. Now you do want to get all the excess off because we're going to be using this transfer more. Get all the excess off. I'm going to peel off that little precision tape. And then you want to peel and reveal. We have our spooky and I'm going to dry it. Now the one thing you want to be careful is is to carefully dry that and then make sure you're checking out the back. Um, you don't want a lot of paste building up on the back because as you lay it down to do the next line, um, you don't want to get that on your frame, okay? So then I'm going to pick what I want next and you don't have to go in any particular order. Let me make sure it's dry. You do want to make sure it's dry because you're going to be laying the adhesive part over it. And it's neat because I can see through the screen because um, it's a little transparent and I can see where my spooky ends and where I want the Halloween to start. Mm -mm. So I'm just going to go like this and then when I have it where I want it, I was trying to get that bat on there. I'm going to press it down. Get any air bubbles out. And then I'm going to put my paste on and do the same thing. All the excess has to come off. Make sure there's no thickness on your transfer, which you should do that every time. You do a design also. You only want a thin, thin layer for the best result. You should be scraping off everything. <laughs> I'm a little later this morning because my son and my husband are going to the Orioles game, not to watch the game, but they're gonna go play catch on the field. I guess it's like a father-son thing. 
um, and I really wanted pancakes because my son went to a pancake pancake breakfast yesterday and I can never eat pancakes because of my gluten. Um, I have celiac. So, I was having pancakes today. <laughs> and they were leaving this morning, so I wanted to make sure we had a family breakfast before they left. on a super fun project this morning and wait till you see what we're gonna do with this make sure it's dry once I have all the letters on here ghosts and like I say I'm okay with things not having the whole entire word it's gonna be like runoffs and bits of pieces just like subway art what are you doing today Amanda what are you up to what am I doing today? I, unfortunately, Hurricane Dorian, I had an online party scheduled for today for Chalk Couture this afternoon, and it was gonna be a Zoom party, um, and the package never got there because all the, the delays from the hurricane. So I didn't get there in time. It's okay, we'll reschedule. And then I have a going away party for one of the doctors I work with that I'm kind of excited about because it's a Nigerian slash Indian cuisine, and I've never had it either. My husband loves Indian food, and I've never had it. So we'll see if they have anything I can eat. We shall see. Nothing at all, she said. Just enjoying that new car you guys got? <laughs> or is um, Ed out and about in it? All right, so we have, I did the start of Ghost. You peel it off nice and carefully. And then you always want to keep checking the back. See, right now I don't have any buildup on the back, which is good. And we're going to dry this. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go down to the next line here, and I'm going to do this black, the start of the black cat. I'm going to push it down so there's no air bubbles. And then do this area here. Now where it starts to run off the edge, that's where you want to be careful to not get it to go through the screen and create like a cakey period on the other side. I don't know why anytime I see the words black cat, all of a sudden I turn into... Um, Janet Jackson with her black cat song. I don't know why. Yard work. <laughs> so we could carry on the rest of black cats on this side. Let's see how that'll look. Yeah, we can do that. Anything goes when you do a project like this. There's no, um, there's a no. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Wait till you see what I put in here. I'm more excited about what's going in it than what I'm putting on the frame. So if I ever finish this part, I'll show you. But you can do this with any of your transfers. I know that, um, I think we did it just the other week. It was the camera. Ooh, that one I didn't put down very good. That one I didn't put down very good. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. Anytime 
the transfer moves, we could either use a Q-tip, which we could do that. I was just gonna erase the whole thing, but I'm gonna let it dry and then use my stir stick and just fix it. That's what I'm going to do. And then, I think I'm gonna do the bottom next, and then we'll move down the sides, just because I wanna use some of these here. We'll do trick or treat here, just because I might have to, hey Dawn, I may have to wash um, my transfer because I'm gonna be using these and I don't know if they're gonna dry in there. So we may need to wash the transfer to keep working on, we'll see. And this one, I'm even gonna get the little bat on there You can even just dip your little squeegee in. There we go. And then get those little bats. So people ask me, like, why did you start working on Halloween so early? Well, it's because I have a whole entire ensemble I'm working on. If you saw my Mr. Bones from yesterday, <laughs> that's for the outside. And then I have four shelves and a mantle that I want to all go together. So this is going to be part of that. Nice and slow peel. And then if you get any from the line above, we're just going to take a board eraser and just erase it. What are you up to today, Dawn? You're always doing something fun. <laughs> All right. Move this to the side. This is a hard part, just picking what you want on here. We'll do haunted houses. On here. So we'll do haunted first. And I feel like my paste is starting to dry a little bit on that squeegee, so I'm going to switch out to a new clean squeegee. Family picture day! Oh, I can't wait to see your photos. I haven't had family photos in a while. I've gotten photos of Ezra, um, but not family. I don't know why. Which is crazy, because I used to be completely obsessed with photos, as you'll see with what I'm putting in here when I'm done, but yeah. And you have such a beautiful family, Dawn. Haunted. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave that little thing up at the top. I might. Or I could take that off. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. With the, That's the case of trick-or-treat bottoms. Ooh, I wonder if I could fit that spider in with houses. I don't think it's going to go in there. Oh, it is. It is, it is. Haunted might be a little crooked, but that just makes it haunted, right? <laughs> Let's move it over a little bit. That just makes it haunted, right? I want the spider on there. The 
Let's see if we can match the crookedness. And remember, if everything was straight, no one would believe I made it because I'm crooked myself. That, I would love it if that little spider hung off the edge here of the frame. Oh, you know what? Let's just put this all down and do that October too. The O. And if it doesn't fit with me working down, I'll just erase it. That's the fun thing with Chalk Couture is if you something doesn't turn out the way you want it or you want to change it after you do it, it's water-soluble chalk paste. And you can just wash it off and then redesign. That's actually our tagline, design, love, repeat. Because our transfers are reusable. And our chalk paste is water soluble. So should we keep those little things there? I think we should, above the haunted. I think we should. I'm just gonna take off a smudge there, smudge there, and then that there. Even though I probably should have kept that. What was that? Oh, it was the end of the D for haunted. Let's see here. Now you could even make this as colorful as you want. Um, I prefer black and white. I almost did gold because I have a lot of gold now. Um, ever since um, Sherry talked me into adding the gold to our big Victorian school, which is my centerpiece. And just a heads up, you may want to go to your Target, hint, hint, and see what is in the dollar bin. Oh, are you talking about the ones that I have hanging up that have like sweater weather and all those words on it? I love that transfer. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Okay. So now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can fix this black cats. If not, I'm going to erase it. Are you going to do that as a live, Dawn? Oh, it's working fine. So I'm just taking a stir stick to fix any imperfection over here because this one I did not have lying down all the way. And these stir sticks have a little point on it that I can chip off any dried chalk. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, Tracy. All right, so now let's move up. And I'm constantly checking the back. Like see here, some of the paste came through the back. I don't want that to end up on my frame, so I'm just gonna take a little piece of board eraser. Let me do it here so you guys can see. And I'm just gonna wipe it off the back. That way it doesn't come through the screen when I lay it flat. And we're getting to the point that I may have to wash this to keep going, but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and put I was trying to see if I could fit 30 first. Uh, I have some. Sometimes all you need is a slightly damp piece of board eraser to clear that screen out enough. You don't have to take it to the sink and wet it completely. All right. There is a cut line on that transfer, Dawn, so you definitely could um, do it that way. Let's see if we can put 30, 31, 31st. I did, but I used two separate surfaces, um, but I'm pretty sure that's why there's a cut line, so you don't have to do the whole entire thing. and. 
they're super easy to handle if you cut them in half. Hey, Lori. How you doing, girl? I was checking all of my shippings because of Dorian, Lori, and I saw you have not received your joyful kit, have you? It'll be there tomorrow. 31st. All right, so I think we can do a few more of these before I have to run this to the sink. We still have jack-o'-lantern. Let's see. Jack. Everything's crooked to me, so I'm trying to make it right. We'll do jack. <laughs> I am drinking coffee too. Let's see if I can get the O on there. Maybe not. Ooh, I'm, see, I'm getting something from the back here. So I'm going to wipe the back of my transfer. And wipe that. What do you put in your coffee? Is anybody doing pumpkin spice yet? Because I am. <laughs> I am. Where's Jack at? Just wiping off my transfer. there you can never have enough squeegees I'm already on number one two three all right peel off nice and slow Do the LA here. I love it. <laughs> is still looking good. Let's see here. I need to get down here straightened out because I go back to work this week. What day do I go back? I took an extra day off, so I guess I go back Wednesday. Um... I wanted to go to my son's back to school night on Tuesday. Um, so we'll see. I told him if it was super busy, I would come in to work for a little bit um, as long as I can leave on time to make it to parents' night. So we'll see. I'm 
not doing a good job of pushing down, so we'll try it this time. Oh, if I get the E in that, it's going to look like Jan jack o lantern Earn. So we'll just do the... I'll do the R in there for all the nurses. <laughs> they can always fit that little spider next to it if there's a big space. We could pick any part of the transfer and add. So there's bats on here. Now we have R in. How cute. All right. <clears throat> so now we've used every single piece of the transfer except for some of the letters and ghost oh did we use a red halloween yeah we did so i'm gonna see if my screen is dried or if we can get another use out of it if i do find that it is dried all we're gonna do is um Go wash it real fast and then dry it. So I'm going to go back up to the... <laughs> I was going to do the spooky, but when I put it on, the letters that stuck out were poo. Ezra would love that if it, my frame said poo on it. All right. We'll go back up to the SP and we'll see. If we can't get another layer out of this, um, then I'm just going to go rinse the transfer, dry it real fast, and... We could always, I can always show you what I did for the inside during that time, or we'll just dry it using a fuzzing cloth. All right. So let's see what we got. I've never waited this long before trying again, but we'll see if it's dry. It may just give us that really distressed look. It's always worth a shot, right? Oh, and it's still perfect. There we go. A little bottom part of the S was dried, but I'm going to keep it. I can always um, fill that in at the end if I want to. I can always fix it. And then I'm just going to take that paste off the back. Got the O. Um, you can actually see on my transfer, I have a little glob that is dry under the S. Um, but everything else turned out great. So what I'm going to do actually is after I wash my transfer, all I have to do is go back and line the S up. And I'll just fix it. Or if you have a small paintbrush, you can do that also. I can't paint, that's why I like chalk. So I will just <laughs> reline it up and do it that way. We're gonna do our spooky. And again, this would look super cute with our um, Let's Get Wicked minis also on the outside of a frame. You could also chalk the glass part of your frame. Whatever you like, it's your frame. Perfect. I'm really hoping that the K and the Y fit in this spot. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it there. And then what I'm going to do is take some of my precision tape, which is the pow of the week, and I'm gonna cut it off. And no one will ever know that I cut it off. I'm gonna cut it off right here. That way I don't run into the next letters. Mm -mm. I was gonna do the, um, club couture this morning but I really wanted to finish this frame and because of all of the shipping delays I'm not sure if everybody has even received theirs yet love 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 all right we're almost done Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we should start on this other side. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. How about, let's see. We'll see if we can do a trick or treat. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Down to the wire. Thanks, Kathy. I wasn't sure, like I said, I wasn't sure if this project was gonna work out or not, but you never know unless you try. And it's not like this would be my first live fail. <laughs> uh, don't ever be scared to try something, you never know. I'm going to look at the back to make sure I don't have paste there. Mm. Let's see. Oh, we have a little bit on the back there. I'm just going to take a board eraser and clean off the back a little bit. You don't want to scrub too hard because you definitely don't want to scrub off your adhesive. Um, this is the third time I've used this transfer, and the adhesive is still super good. If you ever find that your adhesive is starting to wear out, a good thing to do would be to take a disinfectant wipe and just wipe it. But it's not going to matter if you scrub off all of your adhesive to begin with. I can't tell if that was wet. We're about to find out. If it's wet, then it's gonna give us a blotchy look. But I think it might have still been wet for my board eraser. But again, that's an easy fix too, if that happens. tell if I got that bat on there or not. I really didn't want it, but I know we're perfect. We're good. I'm just going to wipe off any smudges on the outside from that board eraser. Do you want that bat at the top of this ore though? Let me dry the back. I want that bat to go right there. We're almost done. Ooh, there's stars there too. Let's do the stars in the bat. Here. I'm actually very impressed with that we're able to use this over and over because I thought that my chalk paste was going to dry on the screen. It would just look um, cakey or half pull up, which might actually give a cool look too. It would look kind of spooky. But that would be cool if the whole thing was like that, but not if the end was like that, right? Oh, it's over here. get the T, the R, and the E of this. I wasn't sure what I thought about this transfer at first, and I was surprised that for the chalk box they picked this one. Um, 
because if you've never tried Chalk Couture before, sometimes it's hard to get all the different colors and the paste and peel method that I do. I didn't know about that method when I started and I was like cutting transfers apart. <laughs> but now I see how versatile this transfer is and it's perfect. I mean, look at all these different words. And if you had a project, you can have it just say spooky, you can have Halloween. Um, so it really is amazing. Good job, Chocotor. <laughs> I can't see behind it anymore to know how I am doing. I can't see behind it. Like before I could see the outline to know if my spacing was good, but I can't see it because there's paste dried to it. I'm gonna take off this and cover the E like that. I love this precision tape. <clears throat> and if you don't know the deal I have going with the precision tape this month, make sure you go to my Chocoholic VIP group. Um, and there's a post in there about the POW. It's only going to be until, was it Tuesday? I think Tuesday. The special is running. But it's great washi tape that has little tick marks so you can measure. It's also great what I'm using for now for blocking out things you don't want to chalk. What do you guys think? All right, this next line's special, huh? Because we have emptiness here, which I can fill with a bat. Let's do that now. <laughs> Let's do that now. Let's just put a bat to fill in the gap. Just a little bat, feeling a little batty. little spaces we could use these little stars or the bat see how that just filled in perfectly right there and then all we need now is this one thing here should we go with haunted Jack um, Halloween hmm Hmm. Hurry up, Michelle. We could put some of the ghosts on. We could say ho. <laughs> uh, let me see. Spooky. How about Halloween? If we just... I want to mix the fonts because that one is a different font. I don't want the bat. What if we did the wee? Let's see what that would look like. Hmm. Need something taller. We did trick or treat on this side. Where is our last spooky at? On that side. Hmm, I don't want poo. We could do, we could fit cat. No. Come on, Michelle. Let's see. I don't know why my brain keeps going to the hoe. If I want something bigger, ghost is pretty big. Let's do the S and the T because at the very top of the frame it's cut off. So let's do that and then see what we get. Oh, Tracy, I missed your message. You said spider. I wish I would have seen that because you know I'm all about the spiders. All right, let's see. Let's step back 
can take a look and see what we got. up so you guys can see what do you guys think of this so far I'm still debating whether or not to leave these little things above the word haunted I kind of like them there but what do you think should I just take them off it's a little um it's actually the bottom of the R and the A in trick-or-treat but it looks a little misplaced or does it look cool I'm just gonna go around and take a stir stick and see if there's any parts that need a little fixing just because I was using the transfer so many times without washing it um, and that S up there is not even bothering me here I kind of like that so we could either keep it or remove it what do you think that and that Keep it okay all right so I'm just gonna do one more dry over oh does it dawn <laughs> all right so I only have a certain amount of um, space to put pictures. And you know, I love my pictures. So and I can't have a picture up for every single year. So this is a regular picture frame that holds an 11 by 14. And what I did was, um, and if you don't have a silhouette machine, I think a Cricut might be able to do it. This is going to go right into the sink. And I'm going to wash this guys and use it again later. Um, so what I did was I took my silhouette and look at this. I made a little mat for the inside. Are you all dry? Okay, everything should be dry. So I'm going to turn it around now. I made this little mat. So first I'm going to pop the glass back in. I have the backing here. And... Um, all I did was I set a silhouette mat um, and I put poster board on it. You could use cardstock, but I needed extra long because my paper is only 12 by 12. So this is um, a piece of poster board that I then, I just noticed I had some paste on my workstation. So I want to make sure I didn't get on my frame. And then I just went, you can either print these yourself or you could go to your local Photoshop and look at these. I went ahead and printed wallets of all of the Halloween's past. And what I'm going to do, like this is Ezra's very first Halloween. He was a little monster. Which way is this frame going? Let me make sure I do them in order. Hold on. This is going to be so adorable. Okay. So I'm just going to take his first Halloween. I'm just going to tape that because I literally did make this the same size. I didn't really think ahead of time to think that my my holes that I cut out were the same size. And then his second Halloween, he was Buzz Lightyear. So I'm gonna put this in this hole. So yeah, he's nine and I have, for the first eight years, 10 slots here. And if you don't have enough pictures to fill it out, they do have this really neat burlap paper that you can cut and put behind it. Um, but I realized after I spent the money on the paper, which I used the coupon, it's no big deal. I'll use it for something else that I actually had more pictures than I needed. This was his next Halloween. He was Ezra Stein. <laughs> I really did torture this kid, huh? So I'm going to go ahead. Isn't this such a cute project? And I'm going to put Ezra Stein there. And then after that, we were at Disney for Halloween, and we were the Flintstones. So I'm going to put our Flintstone there. So that year we were two costumes, but that's okay. That's okay. And I'm going to go ahead 
put that there. And then next, <laughs> we were Dr. Seuss as a family. <laughs> I know. Uh, that probably could have been considered child abuse back then, huh? What else do we have here? Oh, boy. These are tear jerkers for me. Here we have, um, next was superheroes. We had Spidey Dog. We had Superman. And we had Ezra as Captain America. I miss my doggies. I was that mom, yes. And then the next year... We had Star Wars, Tyson was um, R2-D2, and Lucy was Yoda, and Ezra was, um, gosh, not Boba Fett. Who was the other one? I can't even think of it right now. And then we were on a Disney cruise, and we were Pokemon. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to put this one here. Um, and then you can kind of tell I was either busy or he wasn't as cute anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. So then the next year he was a ninja and that's just his, his, um, really good friend Carter because I could not find a photo of just him. Even in our Halloween party, it was him and a bunch of other people. And then last year he was Fortnite and there's daddy and then there's his friend Carter again as a werewolf. So we'll put that here. Now I'm just taping them on. If you do a better job at cutting out your holes, you don't need to do that. All right. And then we have the back here. And don't forget, if you have a baby or you have a lot more holes, you can always put this behind the empty slot. Um, I thought I was going to get a couple more years out of this, not realizing that I forced my family to dress up more than once a year for Halloween. <laughs> um, so I have for eight years, 10 already filled. So next year I'll just have to either cut the picture smaller or get a bigger frame. Okay. Are you ready to see this? Are you ready? I'm super excited. Do you want to see it? Is anybody still here with me? Have I been rambling on and on by myself? Oh my gosh, I'm just loving it. Do you want to see it? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm going to show you guys. I was um, thinking about chalking the glass, especially in between the rows of photos, but when I decided to do the subway art type of frame, I was like, you know what? I want to do the frame. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I love Lori and her drum rolls. Look at this. So I have, oh, let me turn off this distracting light. I need it so I can see, but. Ready? Let's do that again. Oh gosh, it might be hard to see this way. I always say that. Let's go back. I always like to hold it up because I feel like it gives it a special flair, but you guys can't see it. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at it and you guys can't see it. So I have, I used my Spirit of Halloween and I did the frame and gosh, I almost feel like um, with our chalk markers, but I don't have very good handwriting. I could always put um, three months, one year, two years, three years, four, five, six, seven, eight years. I don't know. But I just watching the progression of him as an itty bitty laying as a monster to buzz. <laughs> I had better pictures of him as Ezra Stein, but I love that this shows the bag that I made. I made a bag out of felt that says Ezra Stein. Um, and Disney. And then Dr. Seuss. Oh, look at my puppies. Hmm. And then this was um, on a Disney cruise ship, which we were the same costume that year, so that's okay. Um, just the cruise was a very good memory. 
And then this is in the neighbor's backyard as a ninja. And then Fortnite. Um, this year's costume is a little scary. And yes, my family is not crazy that he's already picked out his costume and we already have secured it. He is going to be, um, I'm not going to tell you guys. It'll be a surprise. Um, it'll be a surprise. So thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you very much. I'm going to go take a photo of this bad boy and try not to mess it up because I haven't put up my Halloween stuff just yet. I um, am going to wait till at least the 15th. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, but I have all the stuff that I'm making and I'm not even putting it up yet. I love it. All right. So this is a great way to see the versatility of um, our transfers because... It is a chalk box kit that you make this and it comes with the Odette frame and it comes with the same transfer. See the difference? Here's the transfer. Here is this. I'm not surprised, Tracy. I'm sure you do. And then there, here's this frame. So it's very versatile and I can now order chalk boxes, which I was not able to before. Um, so if you would like one and you want to um, order one, let me know because I can now get it for you. Uh, okay. Have a great weekend or a great day. Bye.